Sure, we can sit around playing Fallout 76 all day, and that's not a bad life, but sometimes your parents, whatever your age, would like it if you got outdoors a little bit. Right, Mom? So, the fruits of our labor are the security tag that we shot with the 762 by 39 out of the AK at 50 yards, effectively disabling it, as we can see in the uh, removing security tags practical or tactical video. And then uh, the other fruit is is shooting this quarter at 25 yards with the Ruger SR-22. And if those are the fruits of the labors, then uh, the joy of the labor itself is assembling rifles, as we know. And we have almost got this upper complete, except for one glaring omission. Well, how are we going to fill that buttstock-shaped hole in our hearts? Well, with the buttstock. Screwball. <laughs> Roleplay of selecting a buttstock, the easy way. Hey professor, I have this spare buttstock in my parts kit. You want it for your uh, setup? I understand you're building a carbine. Uh, sure. And then... Pop it on the end, and scene. That's pretty comparable to what happened to me when I built my first rifle. If you can call it that. The lower came all assembled, this is what's on here. I was familiar with it from the A4, and that was, had been the issued rifle that we had at my last National Guard unit before I got out. And in 2003, this seemed pretty cutting edge, even though I know this design actually goes back to Vietnam. We had like a four or six position adjustable. You can move it back and forth by uh, depressing that. And it went right over the buffer tube, and it had, and this is steel, baby steel backing plate so that you could uh, use that to break your fall when you were taking cover behind a stout log or cement or what have you. To many of us this is the classic quintessential AR-15 buttstock because you guys are young and don't remember the triangular ones of uh, the 80s. That's okay. We'll talk about that in a bit. And the thought process is that if this is good enough for Americans out in the field fighting the foes of freedom that it's good enough for you. And that's probably right. So, so this I have on my pencil barrel AR. And this is what came with the Matrix rifle kit. Matches all the other furniture on the lower. As you can see on the pistol grip, same pattern as well as here on the trigger guard. So we're going to have a matching set and that's going to be something else. And this thing's by Magpul and the uh, I don't know if durability is a particular difference. Obviously the fancy design can get scuffed off. Uh, we've got the same adjustment lever here to install. You just pull down on the tabs as hard as you can and that's going to get you over the first notch. And then the back is uh, perhaps your innovation there. It's a nice rubberized butt pad. and I don't know how much recoil you think you're going to get with a AR. It's not much. but. If that's a concern to you, you've got a nice comfortable pad. Eh, it's comfortable anyway. Whatever. And it looks nice. And these things, if you buy them individually, it seems like you can get them for 35 to 50 bucks. If I have a criticism of this, it's that it rattles a bit on the mil-spec buffer tubes. The secret to that, and no one needs to know because it'll be covered up as you put a little black strip of electrical tape on your buffer tube and that'll snug it right up. And if you do it in the right way, it's not going to rub off and bind up in there. And then even if it did, it's not not a huge problem. So this is the one we're going with. There's not a ton to say about it. You've got uh, places to put your slings there and there, and then if you want to go with the classic sw sling swivel, you can install one down there. Like I was saying with these, uh, generally you can buy one for 25 or less. And you can find these things floating around at any gun store, and there's not a lot more to say about this thing. Let's get it out of here. Let's open up our wallets and get something a little more extravagant. 
Holy cats, what's that? You better zoom out. We're going to see this thing again in the near future. I've got big plans for it. And it is the Magpul PRS Gen 3. For 200 bucks, 225 somewhere in that range, what do you get for your money? Well, this baby can be put on the carbine buffer tube, which you've seen, which has the uh, slots for the adjustable stock. It also goes on the rifle tube, which you've seen in the uh, buffer and buffer tube episode, which, yeah, since this is an award-winning series, I'm sure you've watched, right? The beast is largely sturdy polymer. We've got a thick rubber butt pad here. These are popular for 308s as well. I think that'd probably be a nicer application for it. We've got M-Lock slots in the bottom, so you can put a slice of Picatinny rail there and put a monopod on the back if you've got a bipod on the front. For those of you who shoot with a lot of scopes, you know that getting your eye aligned with the scope can be a pain in the butt, and that's why a lot of stocks have combs on them. This has an adjustable comb. It's a little stiff, but you can give it a twist and adjust it up and down so you can get your cheek weld right where you want it. And if you're dissatisfied with the length of the stock, you can extend it out by hitting this knob right here. And they're not hard to install. It's one screw and one screw and pop it all together and you're good to go. That's about a three minute job. Anyway, these are the stocks I have on hand. Let's uh, review some other options. And we said we were going to revisit the A2 stock. This is an example of that. Nice classic fixed triangular shape with a steel butt plate and the compartment in the back if you want to put your cleaning supplies in there. Most companies kind of make their own variety of that and they seem to run about 50 bucks. Next up we have a Mission First Minimalist stock. And if you want to talk about creating lightweight ARs, there's a whole, that's a whole different series that we just don't have the scope to address. But those things run from about 40 to 50. And this is a Magpul STR. And they seem to run about 80 bucks. And if you see the ridge that runs along the side, that's a battery storage compartment or you could fit like one bullet in there. And they seem to be waning in popularity. And as an alternative to the Magpul PRS, this is the Luth AR fully adjustable. It's adjustable in all the same ways that the Magpul is, and it only costs about 140 bucks. So it's a reasonable alternative. And this isn't supposed to be an exhaustive list, just kind of a starting point. A Google search will give you all kinds of varieties and that could fit your need or even sense of style. So that's it. Our lower receiver's done. We did it. So next week we'll do something... Uh recreational and then the week after that we'll get back to upper receivers and I believe we will start with the barrel because a good barrel is one of the key items you can build an entire rifle around. Oh. Check it out. We got a match. That is gonna look good at the range. Hey folks we made it. Lower receivers. We'll see you next week. I was originally going to tack on a clip of the other cat throwing up at the end of the video, but that seems sort of in poor taste. But if you're interested in that, I'll put the link down below, and instead we'll give you the good-looking cat. Where are you going? <laughs>